Okay, so this video is to talk about electrolytes and how they help uh, electricity to be conducted through a solution. To have an electrolyte, you have to have ions. For example, here notice that I have water and we know uh, water does ionize into the hydronium ion and the hydroxide ion, but that amount is so small that, look, it, I don't know if you can tell, but there's not a lot of electricity flowing through that, okay? And you look at the pH over this, the pH would be seven, right? So anyway, what would happen if I have a strong acid? Whoa, look at that. All that light being conducted because the electricity flows through. Notice that's because a strong acid completely, the strong acid completely ionizes into the two ions. Same for a strong base. Look, the strong base completely ionizes into the two ions. That means that these are very strong electrolytes, okay? Now, however, what would happen if I have a weak acid? Notice there's less light going through. The electricity doesn't flow as well, and that's because only some of the weak acid uh, electrolytes, only some of the weak acid actually ionizes, divides into the two ions. Notice how here most of those are that gray color for the original weak acid. We only have a few of the ions present. Same for a weak base. A weak base doesn't conduct electricity well. Why? Because most of the original base is there. Only you see a few of those ions present because it partially ionizes. Weak acids and weak bases only partially ionize. They partially dissociate into the two ions. So they're dissolved, but they're dissolved together and they don't split into the two ions. So what determines how good of an electrolyte do you have? Well, two things. First of all, the strength. The stronger your acid or your base is, the more you're gonna have conductivity, you see? The weaker your base or your acid are, the less conductivity there's going to be. What's the other thing that can change this? Well, if you have a strong acid, but you have a very low concentration, concentration can actually affect how good of an electrolyte you have. So you guys, to see, the better electrolytes are gonna be those solutions that have a lot of ions. And you could have a lot of ions by doing two things. You can have a strong acid or base, or a salt, salts that are soluble, they ionize completely. If they're partially soluble, there's only gonna be ions. Or you could have a weak acid or base, but they have a very high concentration. The higher the concentration, the higher the concentration, the better the electrolyte becomes. Even then, weak acids and bases are not gonna produce good electrolytes because there's not enough ions in solution. Same for salts that are not soluble, are insoluble, remember? That means only a small amount of it dissolves, and that means only a small amount of it dissociates, ionizes. I hope this helps clarify what's an electrolyte. An electrolyte is a solution that contains ions, because those ions help the electricity flow through it. And you can have a stronger electrolyte when you have stronger acids and bases, or by increasing the concentration. But the main way to have it is if you have a strong acid or a strong base or a salt that is soluble, those will all always be good electrolytes. Okay? I hope that helps.